Okay, welcome back guys. Today we are going to install the Ryan TR Smart battery to battery charger. It should be a fairly easy install. We just need the start battery positive and negative and the leisure battery positive and negative hooked up to it and it should be good to go. So let's get this bad boy mounted. Where do I put it? Measure, measure. Okay, very good. Holes are drilled. Let's temporarily screw it up, maybe? I need to mark out where I need to drill four holes for the cables. Or maybe I could just do one big one. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? One big hole? Or four small holes? I hate these dilemmas. I will have to get some sort of protector for these. Yes! Woo! Cool. Now we need to make our 16 mil, which will run from the links here down around and then I'm gonna run it around and then down the bottom and around noise and neat this little tunnel here is quite nice. I can hide loads of cables without having to worry about it too much. Sound like that. Should be plenty now. Snip that off. Let's get some 16-8 lugs on here and connect it to the Orion. Let's connect these bad boys. <laughs> Top tip. Can't see, use your phone. Underneath. Time to do the 16.8 lugs here.
Cool. Let's kill power, I guess. Look at that solar. No more solar. And... No more power. Washer. Look, washer. Nut. And now we need the fuse. 60 amp. Positive. Or shall I question not? Quick sanity check. Negative. Positive. Positive. Alright, this is all wired up. And now we need to go to the front and wire up the front half at the starter battery. Cool, so a battery should be here. There we go. Here is the cables that I've already ran. So we have a spare fuse here which is great question is what kind of screws are these and where is I guess that's the main negative so that's gonna have to go down there all right cool so our fuse is gonna go here and we have a missing screw here and here so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab an M8 bolt I think this is or maybe M6 should be fine either way and if you lift this up gently you can actually slide this bolt without having to take everything off with a washer and it comes through like so so that's good somewhere here Let's get our lug on there. Alright, so everything's connected. There's a positive. There's the negative. I just need to cover everything up. And here is the now that everything's connected, tells you the voltage of the starter battery. I'll tidy everything up, put the floor back on, and we should be ready to start charging. So now that everything is connected, I just need to plug this thing back in. In theory, we should be able to start charging. So as Sean says, we're currently using 0.35 amps because I have some lights on and the Orion says that we're not charging due to voltage lockout. So currently 12.4 volts. So if I start the van up, uh, it should start charging. Let's see what happens. All right guys, here goes the moment of truth. I'm about to turn it on, turn the van on, to see what happens. Ready? Ignition. And let's start the engine. So you can see the voltage going up. And it looks like something's happening on the output. There we go, voltage is going up. It says charge is disabled still. There we go, look at that. I'm checking our shunt at the minute and that says we're charging at over 20 amps it's interesting that it's only at 20 amps at the minute instead of 30 amps uh, i know our starter battery is pretty low 
so I'll run this for a while and see what happens and also we'll probably take it for a drive tonight just to make sure everything's working as expected but yeah this is working and I'll keep you guys updated yay so this is it for this video guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and if you have any questions let us know in the comments and see you guys next week bye